always push forward. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, see, whatever activity that you're currently in, always be pushing it a little bit, always be tweaking it, always be trying to improve what it is that you're doing. Take these videos, for instance. Now, before I used to do like, just sit there in one spot and I'd have a bunch of cameras aimed at me and I'd be talking and I'd be flipping from one angle to the other, right? But lately I've been pushing it a little bit insofar as like using one camera, addressing one camera and then cutting to the others, right? Jump cutting between the different angles. It improves the pace of the videos. Now that's a little improvement, but I've noticed that people seem to like it a lot more. I like it a lot more. It makes the videos, you know, more dynamic. I mean, more, um, they're jumping, you know? And the other thing I can do is I can cut out the boring bits. Yeah, because of course a lot of times, you know, I'm a windbag, right? I go on and on and on droning like an old man about whatever the fuck, right? And I drone on and on and I leave all that in the video, or let me phrase that, I used to before I did this little tweak, this little tweak of improving how I cut my videos, making these jump cuts work for me. Because see, the thing that I hated about jump cuts is that, you know, you'd be looking at one image and then you'd be looking at the same image and then you're looking at the same image again and again and again and again and again. It's kind of boring, right? And it's kind of weird to be looking at the same image, but it just keeps jumping around. I mean, it's, it's like, uh, you know, it makes the viewer feel a little bit uh, like he's psychotic or something, or like something's going on with his head, you know what I'm saying? But the way I'm doing it now, you know, jump cutting between camera angles, between shots, it's a smoother experience. The, the viewer doesn't feel as discombobulated. You know, when it's jump cutting from the single shot, you know, click, 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 it feels weird. But when it's like this, when I'm jump cutting from one angle to the next, it feels a lot more natural. Now this of course was something that I hit upon by trial and error, you know, just tweaking the way I did my videos. And you'll notice that, see, you sort of like reach a plateau in an activity, whatsoever that activity may be, and you're comfortable there. And, and that's good and fine to be comfortable at a certain level, at a certain plateau. Uh, but you can't rest on your laurels. You can't remain at that same plateau. Because what happens is entropy. We are all slaves to entropy. Entropy is the reason that we're all gonna die. <laughs> oh, that's not such a cheerful thought. But entropy is our master. We will ultimately all succumb to entropy. And we succumb to entropy along the way. We succumb to entropy, especially when we rest on our laurels, when we reach a plateau and we stay there. We stay at that plateau and what happens is that little by little, if we don't do anything to change it, that plateau begins to slowly fade. That's why you always have to be pushing forward. That's why you always have to be tweaking and trying to push whatever you're doing just a little bit further. If you hit a plateau, great. I mean, assuming it's a plateau where you're comfortable, where you're producing, where things are going fine, right? It's great to hit that plateau, but even in a comfortable plateau, what you should always be thinking is, how do I improve? How do I push forward? Because that plateau, no matter how com comfortable, will eventually fade. No matter how good you have it at that plateau, eventually it'll decay. The thing is too, is that when you're constantly pushing forward, when you're constantly tweaking, when you're trans constantly trying to improve the plateau that you're on, what happens quite naturally is that sometimes you're at that plateau and you keep trying to improve it a little bit and you jump up to the next plateau and then the next one after that and so on up the ladder. Uh, that's the beauty of pushing forward just a little bit every little time that you can. Because see, also something else happens. See, most of the time that you push forward, most of the time that you hit a plateau and you try to tweak things a little bit to just improve them, quote unquote, most of the time, those little improvements are failures. Most of the time. I can't tell you how many times in my videos I've tweaked things a little bit, added little shots or this, that, the other, and I thought I was improving the videos, but not really. And sometimes I did little tweaks and it actually hurt the videos. Remember the spinning camera? <laughs>
Yeah, because sometimes you add little tweaks, you push forward a little bit trying to improve your plateau, and those improvements don't work. I mean, no, no matter how well-intentioned they may be, they just don't work. And you learn something from those little failures. But see, that's the thing, it's a little failure. If you do a little tweak and it doesn't work out, it's just a little failure. But if you stay at your plateau and never change, you're gonna find that you decay. And as you decay, you're gonna to start to panic. And as you panic, you decide to do something completely different. And that's where you fail. Constantly, relentlessly improving whatever it is that you're doing by just a little bit all the time is much better than trying to make a great leap forward, than trying to flip everything around because it's not working anymore. Because see, that's the point. See, you hit a plateau and you inevitably start to decay. And the less smart individuals, what they do is that they just stay there hope for the best, fingers crossed, as their ship goes down. And they get to a point where they can't take it anymore and they try to flip everything around, try to change it all around, mix it up, they claim. They think that they're, they're doing something revolutionary, but what they're really doing is uh, doing backflips as their Titanic sinks. That's kind of a crazy metaphor, but I think you know what I mean. Guys who are sinking will, out of desperation, do all kinds of crazy ass shit. They'll do all kinds of crazy ass shit which will ruin the thing that they were doing. And they'll sink to the bottom even faster. That's why you have to constantly improve. That's why you have to be constantly looking for little things that you can tweak, little things that you can change up, little things that you can turn around just a little bit, just a quarter of a turn of the knob. You, you act that way, you think that way, and no matter how well things are going, you're constantly looking to improve. And what'll happen is that you'll stay on the ball. You'll always be rising. Because even if most of these little experiments fail, even if most of them turn out to be just, just not very good, once in a while you'll hit something that really works.